Testing, one, two, three, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a package. Yes, we do. That was fast. No wonder, it's coming from Oregon. What do we have here? Okay. <laughs> it's about that time. Wow. Look at that right there. If that ain't a sight for sore eyes, ladies and gents. Come on. Blackout! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Blackout. It's like Smokey said. You got knocked the fuck out! <laughs> Smokey! Smokey over here taking a shit! Yes, sir, -y Bob. So, I'm guessing they're still waiting on the other order. This is just our rye. This is 50 pounds of hat trick and fireball. Oh, I have missed you guys. This is literally, this is literally all I had left of the hat trick and fireball. So, we, we needed more. All right, let me show you guys the label. This is some cool stuff right here. We have our blackout hat trick fireball, zero weed, Oregon, 50 pounds. Come on. You know damn well we had to go with the 50 pounds because we always be sharing. You know, I'm, Rick said he got seed, but I'm gonna hook him up with some more. Next door neighbor Rick, he's gonna get a combination of that, Kentucky bluegrass, as well as the tall fescue. That's elite. It's gonna be so good. So I'm gonna get started on this here pretty soon. I'm thinking this week. I'm gonna dethatch everything. I'm gonna spray everything, mow it up, edge it up. <laughs> I would do it today, but I have somewhere to go. So I just wanted to show you guys because the package came. Again, I'm still waiting on the others. Let's check out the lawn after our fertilization action. Let me switch to the gimbal, get you a little smoother, smoother drift. It's coming down to the wire. I mean, we're really, we are getting close to seeding time. We're getting close to preparation for everything and it's gonna be lovely. This is my mailman, check him out. <laughs> That's my dude. All right, let's check out this situation here. Yeah, it's dark. It is a dark. What's up, Sally? <laughs> Every day. It is so nice. The sun is just shining. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Yeah, I am a big fan of Simple Lawn Solutions. A big fan. I was tripping yesterday for sure. I don't know what I was smoking yesterday. Yesterday I was smoking crack because this is dark and getting even. Whew. What you smoking, Sally? <laughs> See ya. Lovely. Guys, look at how dark this is. <laughs> this is not even funny. This is too much for me right now. This is too much. You see that POA? Man, it is growing fierce, isn't it? That is growing something fierce. That is insane. We're gonna give it two weeks because I still have to wait for seed. I think I'm gonna, I hope the temperatures get to 50 degrees, the soil temps, by end of April. We usually seed middle of April, but that's if it's super hot. I need to spray Progress again as the second application before we seed. The bottle says you can spray after the second mow. I don't trust that really. I really don't. I've never done it that way. I've always done it three weeks before and it has been very even. I don't know what's going on over there. We'll have to figure that out as well and it's okay. Today, we're just gonna let it chill, let it soak up some sun, let it dry up this entire week. If I see a little bit light action, I'm gonna water. I'm gonna turn on the water for a second, but it's... As the heat gets onto the soil, all your weeds are gonna start kind of thriving. I'm very tempted just to fork it up because there's already a million bare spots anyways. But then again, that's what we have the expensive product for. I'm not tripping. I mean, it looks it looks great. It looks, it looks good. It's not like someone's like, oh my gosh, what the hell is that? You know, 10 spots of lightness. Really? Really? That's some grass. I can stare at that all day long. Wow. 
Wow. That is something else. I mean, really dark, too. Fluffy. Really fluffy. Smells like the product from yesterday. I can feel it. It's gonna be so ridiculous this season and it just becomes epic. Now that's a lawn. That's too much. I hope your guys seed comes just as fast. I mean, I'm right next door to the, this, this place that they shipped it from, so that's phenomenal. I'm tempted just to put down our old hat trick and fireball and just seed it real quick because it might germinate in the next couple days. You know what? Let's pre-germinate it. Should we pre-germinate it? Should we pre-germinate the rest of that hat trick and fireball and just plant it with the, hmm, that could be something here. That could be a little something something. Pre-germinate, huh? Okay, well, hold up. You wanna pre-germinate your seed? Do this. This is co a completely different video now. <laughs> do we still have, yes we do. Did you guys know that turf type tall fescue has rhizomes too? I didn't know turf type tall fescue has rhizomes. My apologies, my garage is so dirty. Still trying to figure out a solution for that. Let's put this stuff away. Can I wait for this new batch of seed? First things first, you need paint strainer. Give me a second, I gotta get these seeds out, bro. I'm pretty sure it's our seed, but just to be safe, I don't want anything mixing in, because that one seed can mess up your whole look. <laughs> All right, my dudes, new video. This is pre-germinating your seed. Is it time yet? Absolutely not. You wanna probably do this seven days before you're about to seed, which is gonna be about mid-April. Depending on your soil type, some of you guys in the transitional zone, you're already past 50, so actually, don't listen, just do this now. Paint strainer over a bucket, five gallon bucket, and I have pre-drilled holes into the bottom. Now you're asking, why did you pre-drill holes in the bottom? Well, you put this in another bucket, so that way the seed's marinating, right? You're marinating the seed. You have to replace the water every 24 hours. You're going to lift it up. The water just starts flowing into the other bucket. You dump that water or use it to, you know, spray your, your lawn and then put new water in there, put the bucket back in and, and you're good to go, right? I'll put the seed in here. A little free promotion for Harbor Freight. <laughs> what I'll do is I'll get our seed. It definitely looks like it's the same seed that's in the strainer, which is good. We're just gonna dump this all in here. Before we officially do it, I'm gonna weigh it just to, just to see. I'm trying not to breathe so much in the microphone. <laughs> You're like, God damn it, Yarbrough, why are you breathing so fucking hard? Let's weigh this seed out. Yeah, that's a pound of seed. That's good enough. Pound of seed just to you know, get it started and show you guys how to pre-germinate. Check this out. This is the bucket that doesn't have the holes. Put this bucket in with the holes on top. Like so. And then, you fill her up. Fill her up so it's all covered. Now this is only a pound of seed, so that area is not too big. I, I just wanna get where all the worm castings are at. Pre-germinating your seed definitely saves water for the first, I'd say three to five days because usually you're watering three times a day and really dousing the seed, making sure it's wet. Usually you put peat moss to keep that moisture intact. This saves you a couple days for sure. We've done this twice now and the results are definitely, I mean, the backpack was fully pre-germinated seed and you can see the backpack just flourished. It should look something like that. Then I just tie off the top portion here. Make sure it's actually tight though. I do one of these numbers. Now you don't want it floating, so I take my rubber mallet and just put it in here on top of the seed ever so slightly. Now let me show you what I'm talking about with the bucket. For your water changes, this is all you gotta do. And then it drains, amazing. You don't want it popping up, so let's put a little bit more water in there. See what I'm saying? Lovely. Now go ahead and set this somewhere where it's gonna be safe and 
make sure you you know change the water every 24 hours. This is perennial rye. So perennial rye can germinate anywhere from three to seven days. You know it's ready when you see the seed kind of splitting. Just a little split, just a I kind of want to put some like nitrogen in the water. I've never seen that before. That might make it germinate tonight. <laughs> Should we put a little bit? Just like a hee I think it's a waste because then you're draining it, and you know? <laughs> Fuck it. I mean, is this gonna hurt it? Who knows? Time will tell. Tiny, any bit. Just, just, you know, just a little shot. Oh, this might be the secret there, huh? Salem, Oregon, isn't that where the witch, the witches are from? We're making our own little, little seed potion. We're Wiccans. No, I was joking. <laughs> now you're thinking to yourself, okay, the seed has sprouted. How the heck am I gonna spread this all over my lawn if it's all soggy and moist? Well, great question there, my friend. You're gonna use Melorganite as a carrier as well as a starter fertilizer. So you're knocking out two birds with one stone. I do what's called a layer cake and I'll do a little bit of malorganite with a little bit of seed, put some more malorganite, a little bit more seed, and then you mix it in. I'm telling you, this is some witchcraft stuff. <laughs> Whoever came up with this, ancestors or witches, for shizzle. Then you put it in your spreader. I, all I do is I scoop it up with my one gallon jug, put it in the spreader, and go to town. I do a, an even coverage for the first pass, and then I just keep emptying it and just, just evenly distribute the seed and the Melorganite mix. I've done it this way both times and both times have performed quite a nicely. As you can see, I'm stocking up on pretty much everything because I wanna be very prepared. As time goes on, as I'm getting older, I mean, I'm not old, but I do things like, you know, I'll grab a couple bags here, a couple, couple bags there. I'll grab different things that I need and I collect it. So when it's time and go time, we're not stressing, having to go. Cause I used to just on the fly, do everything at once and it's like that can put a strain on you it's stressful you don't have time to do everything you're gonna notice what I really do and it's, it's really fun for me now is I break everything up into sections when I overseed I'll molo dethatch aerate a couple days prior to and then during time of seeding that's when you put down a soil or your sand now we're gonna be sand leveling the main and that's gonna be a process so I'm gonna start sand leveling here in about I'd say two weeks. It's gonna be just sand. The soil test shows we have a lot of organic matter as well as it's healthy. We have healthy soil. So we're just gonna add a bunch of sand. Not only is that sand gonna help with the worms, it's going to make it level and make it a lot smoother for our real mowing. It's a must, you have to sand level. Don't worry about other people. I get a lot of questions every time I sand level. Well, the grass isn't gonna grow in there. Okay, first of all, have you seen grass growing in sand? The roots are crazy. Is there any nutrients? Absolutely not. But you can do a sand soil combination. That's 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 a very common practice in warm season grasses. Bahia, is that how you pronounce it? Bahia, Bahia. <laughs> It looks like bahia. Bahia grass loves sandy soil. Th th those areas in Florida, sandy soil. Perennial ride isn't a stolen type grass, it's just a bush. Realistically, the sand doesn't do anything for it. Now, bent grass is stolen. It needs sand to spread and go crazy, and it loves sand. But rye, cool season, it just, you know, it's the soil. But again, we're doing the low cuts. We just have to test it out. We just really have to test out what a full dose of sand is gonna be like. This sand here, I'm gonna go with silica. I kid you not, I'm gonna douse it until it's level is all hell. And then we're gonna flatten it with sorty, see how level it is. You guys are gonna, I'm telling you, this season's gonna be a blast. It's gonna be definitely different than other seasons. It's gonna be more dialed in. It's gonna be more precise. It's gonna be more, it's gonna seem more professional because what I've done the past couple of years, I've dialed down all these processes to make sure that anyone can can do it anyone can replicate by just going to the store you don't have to order a bunch of stuff besides our expensive seed i mean the expensive seed you have to order you have to make sure all that's really good but as for the products just go to the store grab your products that's what i try to make that as simple as possible so that is my plan for upcoming overseed again this is fully renovated in the fall end of summer beginning of fall this was renovated and it lasted pretty good now we're just going to add to it get it thicker pre-germinating we're gonna put that down in the next three days, just for funsies. <laughs> if you notice, I, I do a lot of different things ju that just, people are like, why the hell are you wasting that seed? Well, number one, why not? It's the last of our seed. There, there's, there's no big deal. It's not like a big deal to, 
Oh, thank you so much. Is that what you do for a uh, it's just for fun for YouTube. Oh, really? Yeah. Bad. Where are you at? Lakewood. <laughs> You're in Lakewood? Yeah. Yeah. Before like middle April, come come see me. Really? We'll, we'll, we'll check it out. Right on. Yeah. Heck yeah. The corner behind this house. Not the one uh, on this side, but across the road. Yeah. Right on the corner. So across theirs, I did his lawn. Yes, I know. And then this one, I'm doing this one next. I'm gonna have to have Donald come talk to you too. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. He... And they lost their son there. Oh, no, they moved out. Yeah, they moved out. So there, there was a major shooting. I know. That's my buddy, crazy. My buddy lives right across the street, directly. Yeah. They got a bullet in their uh, window. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From crazy. The crazy. Right. I know. Drugs. Weed. Weed. Weed, of all things. Cambodian. Yeah, I remember that. That was a crazy story. So sad. I know. And they're just young punks. Yeah. So th these are new people now. Yeah. It's a uh, pompous. They're from Congo. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd love to come check out your lawn. We'll check it out. Take care. See ya. Yep. Thank you. It's an ongoing thing. The that was. Uh, <laughs> I told you guys, you have to just. You're gonna have to shake off the cougs. You're gonna shake off the cougars because everyone's just like, oh my god, the grass is so crazy. <sighs> my other dude <laughs> you can tell it's getting close to season when uh people start stopping by and i mean come on it's not even spring yet and the yard looks like this insane okay well that is my plan for the next couple weeks pre-germination guys very simple nothing to stress about two buckets one with holes paint strainer a little rubber mallet to hold it down i just put a little nitrogen here i don't know if nitrogen and water will you know, make it go crazy. And it was just some leftover molly coddle mix, but I don't wanna waste too much because that's three days of nitrogen. That's, and that still might be too much. I don't know, this is a different thing. We're testing things out, we test things out. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. <laughs> Next thing you know, I have a big pile of grass in the water by tomorrow. <laughs> well, that's it for me, guys. That was very fun. We just gotta prepare. I mean, mentally I'm preparing, you know, a lot of people are going to be stopping by. I got two projects on the way, two projects people want their lawn done. And at first I was thinking I don't really want to do it because I'm not a landscaper, right? I'm going to leave that to the landscape guys. Let them get the business. It's fun. It's fun content. It's fun seeing before and afters. So why not? We are going to mow tomorrow when it's super sunny. And there you go. You guys are awesome. That's how you pre-germinate seed. Thanks for tuning in. You're amazing. We'll catch you next video. Take it easy.